Assalamu alaikum my dear viewers how are you first of all a very warm a very 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 much happy new year wishes to all of you dear students today we are going to discuss uh, an important aspect of grammar that is known as present verbs before going to start we will try to explain that what is meant by a present verb praise is something else praise means group of words without subject and verb but here we are not concerned with phrase we are concerned with present verbs so definition of present verb is that a present verb is a group of words the first thing is that if you study or look into the title that is called present verbs so it means that present verb is the group of words their function is verb this part is very much important present verbs are those words which play the role of a verb in a sentence but that verb is consisted of more than one word and it is made up of a verb plus a preposition for example uh, if i say bring in up so this bring is verb and this up is preposition so the combination of verb plus preposition is called present verb but it is not always the same sometime an adverb can also be there or sometime verb plus preposition plus a verb are also possible examples break is verb down is preposition break down means when a machine starts working or functioning all of a sudden so the car broke down on the road dear students remember whenever you are dealing with present verb when we will go for using the present verb in a sentence so in most of the cases verb changes from v1 into v2 or into v3 so here you can see that break is changed into bro the car broke down on the road car off car off means to cancel levers called off the strike so called is again v2 then look into look is verb into is preposition so verb plus preposition is a uh, equal to present verb and look into means in v2 investigate principal looked into the matter this is the common example of uh, present verb but dear students present verbs are further divided into various categories in which i am going to discuss the three major types today the first one is transitive present verb importance is the present verb is the game of verb and transitive verbs are those verbs which always demand part an object so transitive present verbs are those present verbs when they are used as a direct object is called transitive present verb means the transitive present verbs are those present verbs which are used as a direct object this rules you know that there are two types of objects one is called direct object direct object is the name of thing 
an indirect object is the name of person. So example is Ali could not put up with barking dogs. Ali could not put up with barking dogs. Then the second one is called intransitive phrasal verb. Intransitive phrasal verbs are those phrasal verbs which cannot be used as object. Means the difference between transitive present verbs and intransitive present verb is that transitive present verbs can be used as object, but intransitive present verbs cannot be used as object. Example: The manager was late, so the sales manager's team went ahead without him. So this is known as intransitive present verb. And then separable present verb. Separable it is derived from separation. So it is the type of present verb which can be uh, divided into parts. So separable present verbs are those in which the present verb is divided into two or more than two parts. Here he forgot to the lights of the lights off before he left so now he forget forgot to the lights off before he left so before he left it means that lights off left it is uh, separable present verb and here it has been divided into other parts. So dear students, uh, practice it, try to learn it and inshallah in the next videos we will explain it further. Thank you very much.